Hola Essays, I'm WWE Superstar Rey Mysterio from WWE filling in for Adam Pacitti from Cultaholic and it's time to take a look at the Booyaka Booyaka news headlines. <laughs> An awful name change was planned for a debuting Smackdown superstar. We saw a big heel turn on AEW Dynamite last night. And a top WWE star is heading to NXT, but only for a little bit. I'll tell you more shortly. So remember last year when Chad Gable became Shorty G and we thought, Jesus Christ, that's awful. But it probably can't get any worse than that, right? And then Retribution debuted and we got someone called Slapjack. And we thought, well, it definitely, definitely can't get any worse than that. It almost did. Maybe I'm being a bit unfair there. I think it's a dreadful name. Make up your own minds, right? But cast your minds back to last week's Smackdown. Chelsea Green making her blue brand debut. Very exciting stuff. And then she, she broke her wrist, pulled from the match. The finish was changed and just disastrous. Really, really feel sorry for her. We're not gonna see her back in a ring anytime soon. And that's very, very sad. However, she wasn't going to be called Chelsea Green by the end of that episode. No, no, no. She was going to be called Victorious. So this is according to Fightful Select. Um, and they said that following the match, she was going to do a post-match promo um, and she was going to announce that she was no longer called Chelsea Green. She was going to be called Victorious. Um, which is, I think it's dreadful personally. I know WWE, they like to do this thing where they have ownership of intellectual property and her real name is Chelsea Green. So I can understand why they might not want her to be called Chelsea Green, even though she's an established star called Chelsea Green. Um, but Victorious? They love these one word names, especially for like female WWE superstars. They've got a long history of liking one word names. So that's not even a name. That sounds like a Disney villain or something. It's just, I bet, I bet her finisher was going to be renamed as well. They, the Victoria's Secret. That's what they would have called it. So we don't know if the plan is still for Chelsea to become victorious. Uh, we'll keep you updated on that. Um, but that was the plan last week. So I would expect that they will rename her. Whether it is victorious or not, we, we won't know until we find out. Uh, maybe now this, this, this is leaked. Um, they'll, they'll change that name, but time will tell. Victorious. Next up, Will Hobbs is a bastard. I mean, I really like him. Very, very talented guy and I'm sure he's very nice, but following last night's AEW Dynamite, absolutely despicable behavior. Will Hobbs is a bastard. If you've not seen it yet, stick around for Graded and WTF, obviously. However, uh, big heel turn on last night's AEW Dynamite. So after Team Taz defeated Cody Rhodes and Darby Allen, they start beating him down, right? And then Will Hobbs is here to make the save. Thank the Lord. But it's bloody, it's Wrestling 101, isn't it? He just attacks Cody. He attacks Cody. He's turned heel. And it looks like he has joined Team Taz. And you know what? I'm really enjoying Team Taz as a whole. I think they're, they're great. And Will Hobbs, they've obviously got big things planned for. Uh, he's not been with the company for too long at all. He had a bit of a standout performance, I think it's fair to say, in the Casino Battle Royal. And now he's been inserted into a very prominent storyline and he was one of the focal points of last night's show. And fair play because he's bloody good, isn't he? I mean, he's not, he's horrible, he's horrible, but the stuff that this guy can do, a lad of his size doing the stuff that he does is unbloody believable. But that doesn't stop him being a bastard, as I say, stick around for AEW Graded and WTF, where Jack and Ross will explain it more thoroughly, but that's, that's, that's the basis of the story. Will Hobbs, gigantic bastard. Next up, a little bit of a palate cleanser following that Will Hobbs is a bastard news, as John Moxley let slip during a promo last night that he and his wife, Renee Paquette, aka Renee Young, they're expecting. Wonderful, wonderful news. It was fantastic. So he's cutting a promo and he just happens to say, I've got a pregnant wife at home. Do you? It's news to us. And uh, Renee Paquette taking to Twitter following this. First of all, she posted a lovely photo, which will flash up now of Moxley and herself. Isn't that wonderful? Ah, oh, that is, no, it is actually, it sounds like I'm being sarcastic, but it's, it's obviously brilliant news. Uh, Bailey. WWE superstar Bailey uh, tweeting, what's cuter, 
the way the world found out tonight or the way that I found out. What does she mean? Renee will tell you. She quite retweeted saying, 100% the way you found out. Uh, I thought I was texting John a pregnancy update. I was in fact texting Bailey. Um, and you know, that's a, it's an easy mistake, isn't it? Pamela Rose Martinez, John Moxley, but they're next to each other alphabetically. We, we've all done it. We've all done it. Don't worry. I don't know how that happens. And uh, then she, a, a further update, um, she, she tweeted, Now I can finally start telling you guys just how sore my boobs are. Same, Renee. Well, that's, uh, that's wonderful. That's obviously fantastic news. Um, and, well, what else do you say about that? Congratulations from all of us at Cultaholic. And finally, it was announced during last night's NXT that Wade Barrett isn't going to be on commentary next week, which is very sad because Wade Barrett is obviously fantastic at commentary. But the man filling in for him is also fantastic in many, many ways. Kevin Owens is heading to NXT, we believe, for one week only. He's joining the commentary desk, uh, which is, is great because it's Kevin Owens and it'll be hilarious. He's so, so very good. Um, it's not the first time that we've seen Kevin Owens in NXT relatively recently. Obviously, he, uh, he joined the War Games team, taking down the Undisputed Era. That was the first time we'd seen him in NXT since 2015. And following that, there were reports that Kevin Owens was asking to go back to NXT or that it was going to be like a, a full-time thing, the same way that Finn Balor went from the main roster over to NXT. That was going to happen to Kevin Owens. Uh, but obviously, that didn't happen. He's had an all right year, hasn't he, Kevin Owens? I think he had a great match, arguably match of the weekend at WrestleMania this year with, with Seth. But since then, it feels like he got a little bit lost in the shuffle, perhaps. Obviously, he's, uh, he's on Team SmackDown and everything uh, for Survivor Series. But yeah, he, you know what? He's, he's a guy that I wouldn't be upset to see go back to NXT for a while. I don't want to see him there forever or anything, but if Kevin Owens went down to NXT, had some great matches, put a few people over, like he's, he's, he's a big star and he would get more people watching NXT as a result. But we'll see, I guess. Time will tell on that, but I can't wait to hear him on commentary. Um, and that's your lot. That's that's all from me, Rey Mysterio. I just look, looked at that footage back. My face isn't that fat. It it, it, it goes it goes big at the at the back, and it, my face. It, it, I look the not not very flattering. Anyway, yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, check out what we got on today. We got WTF. We got graded. We've got we got pictures going up for Survivor Series with Matthew, Jack, and Ross later this evening. Uh, predictions coming tomorrow and then keep an eye on the channel for all of our lovely Survivor Series content. Take care. See you soon. John Cena salute.